So in the file handling operations, the major functions which we learned was uh, one is f open. F open is used for opening a file, and this is followed by it has two arguments. One is the file name which we give in double quotes, and then in double quotes you give the mode. Okay, so mode will be for reading or writing. So this was one function which we learned. Uh, for opening a file then at the end of the whole operations we close the file with f close and both these uh, functions are uh, compulsory because we need to open the file and we need to close the file in between we do the operations like reading uh, or writing okay then after that we learned about entering a character to a file and uh, taking or retrieving a different characters from the file for that we use the functions get c and put c okay for uh, saving the characters to a file we use put c for that we first get the values from the user using scanf in the normal way and uh, when the user enters various characters it is saved to the file using put c similarly this is done in write mode Put C means we are writing characters to the file. So it will be that particular file will be opened in write mode. And then while in read mode when we need some characters which are already saved in the file we use get C. So we are used to these two functions get C and put C. Then uh, always we start with F open and at the end we close the file with F close. So these are the four functions which we used in file handling operations. Next is dealing with strings. For that, two functions that we can use is f put s and um, yeah, here uh, second function is f get s. Okay, so put s and get s to uh, functions which we are already familiar with the string so here in file it is f put s and f get s again like get c and put c these two functions can be used only difference is get c and put c deals with a single character so we used while loop to get a number of characters but here it is a string so we can check this code so that it will be very simple to understand First, we are, as in all programs dealing with files, we first declare a file pointer, file star fptr. Then fptr is equal to f open. This is how we open a file. So that when we open a file in write or read mode, what will happen? We are assigning a pointer for that. So in the come later, we can directly access the file using this file pointer. So fptr is the file pointer then f put s is used to uh, print certain strings to that particular file which is pointed by the pointer fptr so f put s the format is string and the second argument is the pointer of the file so i am writing say four strings first is est102 programming in c then second string file handling in c then third string let's start fourth by Okay, all these four are strings and I am giving a set of strings. Okay, so, so here we are, I am giving four strings and f put s means these strings are saved to the file which is pointed by this pointer fptr. Then f close fptr means that file is closed. It was opened in write mode. We wrote these four strings and now it is closed. Then again opening it in read mode and how to read the string from the file that is given from line number 11. Again it is opened using the file pointer. Then to read it we need a character array. So char string 30 we gave the size as 30 and while f get s so we are trying to fetch the string. While it is not equal to null print that string. So printf is used for displaying that string in the screen so while f get us so it is trying to fetch the string using f get us and if there is no string what will happen it will return a null so as long as it is not equal to null the that string has to be printed so we write this loop so here there are four strings so first time it fetches the string it it is not equal to null because it has a value it will be printed second time also it will be printed 
third time, fourth time also it will be printed. Fifth time there is no string, so it will be returning null. So it will come out of the loop and it will close the file. I hope this uh, code is clear. So this is familiarizing two new functions in file that is f put s to save a string to the file and then f get s to fetch that string from the file. And after getting that string, f get s using f get s, we are taking the string back from the file and then printing it using printf. So let's check the output. This is the output. We saved four strings and we wrote the four strings to the file and then we again close the file and then open the file in read mode and we fetch the strings using fgetters and we printed it using printf. Next function that we learn in file are f read and f write so first is f write function that is to write a block to a file and the syntax is f write that is the keyword then f write and it has four arguments first is the pointer and here pointer is a reference of an array or a structure that is stored in the memory so that pointer can point to that block that is to be written it can be either an array or a structure then size is the total number of bytes that has to be written to a file. Then n, that is the number of times a record will be written. Normally we will give it as 1. Then file pointer is the fourth argument. So this is a syntax for fwrite. Similarly, we can use fread also. That is for reading a block from a file. Again, the uh, syntax and the arguments are almost same. First is the pointer where that is a reference of the array or structure. Then second is the size or total number of bytes to be read or to be written to the file based on fread or fwrite. Third is n, the number of times a record is to be uh, read in case of fread and number of times it is to be written in case of fwrite. And the fourth argument is file pointer. So syntax for both fread and f write are almost the same the number of arguments are also the same first is pointer to that block of data which is array or structure second is the size or the number of bytes third is number of times it has to be read or written and fourth is the file pointer so it will be more clear with the example code and we can check this program First, as usual, for all file handling operations, we start by declaring a file pointer, that is file star fp. Then here we are using a character array to be written to a file. So char block in the array, we are directly giving that statement. Say we are discussing file handling operations in C. Then after that, we are declaring another character array so that uh, for managing all these operations then first step is opening the file so using f open we are opening a text file with the name file class then first we have to write this block which is that character array to the file for that we use f write function first is the pointer to a particular object so block here we can use that starting address itself it's an array so first is the uh, starting address of the array and that is the pointer to that array. So block we give the name. Then length. Length is given by str. You can use the function strlen to get the length plus 1. Character array means the length will be string length plus 1. Then one time it has to be written. Then file pointer fp. So with this line number 12 f write. We can write this entire statement to the file. Which is pointed by the file pointer fp. After that. We have to go to the beginning of the file. So for that we use a function called fseek. fseek is to uh, take the pointer of a particular file to the starting or whichever byte it is needed. So fp0 means uh, it will be reaching the starting point of the file. So fseek fp0 seeks it. It will be explained a little later. fseek function will be explained. So after reaching the beginning of the file, 
again trying to read. So for that we use the function f read. Then again to which block it should be read. That is we are we have declared a new character array which is data. So for reading we use another array and that uh, name is data. So simply data means it is representing the starting address of that array. So data then again length is strlen block plus one then one, one time it has to be read, then file pointer fp. So, you can compare line numbers 12 and 18. It's very similar using fwrite and fread. And fwrite, the first argument is block because we have to write what all is saved in block to the file. And in case of fread, the first argument is data because whatever is read from the file, it has to be saved to an array. So, for that, we use the array. Uh, named data. So that's the difference. Then rest are the same. Then after reading it has to be printed. So now what is read from the file is saved in data. Then using printf you can print the content of data to the screen. Then after that file uh, pointer is uh, using file pointer the file is closed. So the whole program goes like this. We are opening a file class dot text using fopen and fp is the file pointer, then using fwrite, we are writing a sentence, which is a character array, which is saved in block. After writing, using fc, we are reaching the beginning of the file, and after that, again, reading the data from the file, and saving in an array called data, and using printf, that is printed to the screen, and then file is closed using the function fclose. FC, I will explain after this. Okay. So, here in line number 15, the use is uh, the file pointer uh, points to a particular file, say file class dot text. And now the particular pointer is reaching the beginning of the file. For that, we use this function. So, here the functions related to file handling operations are first fopen, then fwrite, fseek, fread, and fclose. So, now let's check the output. What is the output that we are expecting? We are expecting a uh, first step block contains a statement that is written to the file. Then it is written using fwrite. Then it is read and is saved in data and we are printing the data. So in short, the output will be this. We are discussing file handling operations in C. So let's check the output. We got the output. So even though we see just a single line, what is happening is first it is returned to the file, then it is read from the file and then printed. 